Now to the part that that the truth needs to be exposed and shit. The reason why that bitch ass actor got kicked out of our label. I'm not gonna first and foremost, I'm not even gonna call you snapper, homie, because you ain't a motherfucking G, and only G's get G names. I'm gonna call you fucking Ruben, because that's your fucking real name. When you look in the mirror, you don't see a snapper, you see Ruben, that little bitch that you have to fucking look at every day. So now I'm talking to you, Ruben. Now we're gonna let the fans know what really fucking happened. Basically, fucking, uh, like I said, much possible on the Capone, putting it down, like I said, that motherfucker, since day one, since I got in the fucking limo and shook his hand, homeboys always showed love. And you could see, as far as our fucking label, as many albums as released, as many different homies from different bodies are exposed, homeboy ain't, ain't got no kind of hater in his heart. Most motherfuckers just focus on themselves. So basically, with that being said, I mean, I think that says a lot itself. So basically, fucking Capone was in the business of helping bring out the Southside movement, bring out different homies from different barrios, let motherfuckers get their shine, let them represent their hoods. It wasn't no, no problems, you know what I'm saying? But basically, fucking, uh, you know, the circle was kind of tight back then, and this little bitch-ass Ruben was always kind of like a little reject, you know what I'm saying? We one of the shows, and motherfuckers make comments about him, like, yeah, if he was a fucking party crew out there, just had him the fucking posters, he'll promote for us. Give him the flyers, that little bitch will be in the stands fucking promoting, you know what I'm saying? That's what, he, that's what he's known to do. Because even back in the days, if you did catch that fucking faggot in LA somewhere, he wasn't on no gangster shit, he was just promoting some kind of little gay ass party and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So that's with that. So basically, you know what I'm saying? I started getting little, little whiffs of hate. I'll be at the same studio and all of a sudden this faggot to show up. He start talking about, you know what I'm saying, how fucking this wasn't right and how he didn't agree with this and the lady. That was around the time Capone was coming out and dedicated to Only's Part 2, which was fucking like the most the maddest shit that we had ever been involved with. Everyone was asking about that shit from here to fucking New York. And basically this little faggot was like, oh, the oldies ain't gonna work. I don't know why he's doing that. It's gonna make our label fall. This and that, just some faggot ass shit. And I'll tell him I wanna hear about that shit. I'm gonna just do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? So one day I'm at the studio in Riverside at Funk Studio. You know where the fuck we were at, you little bitch. We show up, a couple homies. Well, not even homies because the little faggots. Them motherfuckers ain't even party no more either, you know? So basically fucking, uh, you show up with your little groupies, homie, you know, straight up. And fucking, I was working on a track. And you were a little drunk, you know, you thought you were cute in front of your little faggot ass homies. And fucking, basically, you started talking more shit. You started saying how fucking you were about to do your own thing. How you didn't want, you weren't agreeing with high power. How you didn't want fucking feeling the high power shit. And this and that. You remember what I told you, homie. I told you none of your business, man. Homie, you don't talk about it, just do it. And you started saying how Capone was fucking saying I was this and I was that. And how Capone didn't want me to beat places and fucking I was never gonna go nowhere on his label. He was jacking me for all my feria. When I had more money than you back then, you fucking lot. Remember, you were living with your sister in Fontana, homie. I already had my own spot, you fucking idiot. So, um, basically, that was fucking uh, it, homie. I, he kept talking all the shit. And me being the man that I am, homie, I don't really take that. He said, she said shit. Homie, I stand by motherfucking true shit. So he's over here saying all the shit, so he got me hot, homie. I said, fuck it. I didn't even have a cell phone right there on me because my shit didn't used to work in that fucked up reception area. So I asked one of his little homies to give me a cell phone. When I asked for that, he started fucking turning red in the face like a little bitch, the little bitch that he is. And he started saying, oh, who are you gonna call? Who are you gonna call? I said, I'm gonna call the Vati Saints, talk all this shit about me, homie. What's up? I'm gonna call Capone right now. I'm gonna put him on blast. What's up? Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. I was just letting you know just so you know for yourself. I just wanted to give you a little knowledge of what's going on. Fuck that shit, homie. I'm a motherfucking gangster, homie. They don't call me criminal from my motherfucking neighborhood for nothing, homie. I'm pissed to whip the shit out of fucking bitches like you. Put in a lot of work in my life, homie. That's why my, my motherfucking homeboys vouch for me, homie. And um, basically, fucking, you're a bitch, homie. I picked up the phone, started calling. You were in the background like, I ain't, not me. I ain't say it. That's, don't, don't say me. I'm like, what the fucking faggot, eh? I hit Capone, Capone's confidence, fuck, like, what, what's this, where, where you want to meet at, Capone? Let's meet up right here. That's a man, homie, not a fucking bitch behind the scenes talking about, no, 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 you know what I'm saying? If I tell any motherfucker in my life that someone says something, which I ain't a little bitch like that, I'm not going to go running my mouth trying to start no shit anyways, but even if I did, let's just say I did, homie, I'm going to stand by that shit, homie, put that motherfucker on blast, call him in front of me, homie, be like, yeah, criminal said this, Vata said this about you, homie, and what? If you're a fucking bitch... Don't fucking hide it, homie. Obviously, you were always full of lies back then, and you always will be, you fucking little faggot.